I'm recording. Oh, you are? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of the Redneck Review. I'm Cody. That's Quint. Uh, and I've got a small penis. Me too. <laughs> so, it's great to be back with you guys. Uh, how, was, how was your week? It was fucking, it was a week, man. Um, it was rainy, and it really sucks because we don't have a lot of gravel on, uh, we don't have a lot of gravel in our fucking driveway, so it was like playing around in a fucking mud pit. I don't know where my work boots I mean, are. I like to play around in mud holes, but they're not necessarily road oriented. That's like a butthole. A hundred percent. Yes, That's it was. That's a butthole. That's a butthole joke. Gross. It's like a shit and dick joke, but it's a butthole joke. Yeah. I mean, on our second, I think it was our second episode, we talked about what would happen if you super glued your ass cheek shut yeah, and then tried to shit out. Yeah, we were talking about like a dookie cannon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dookie cannon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we call those turbo turds. <laughs> turbo turds? Yeah. yeah. Set up a fucking target, like, all right, who has the best? Oh, time? God. <laughs> I just keep on thinking of that episode of Jackass. Or that, was it the first Jackass when they painted the dude's ass like a mountain and he just rocket shit out of his ass over this little town? Like a oh, town yes. Like, yeah, I, I yeah. thought you were talking about whenever they... Uh, they had the, the fat dude and Oh Steve god, Ball. yes, and he and had the he helmet had on. Random, yeah, the helmet and then he like took a shit in there. Oh great. I I think that Oh that's times. so it, fucking it's, it's gross. cursed. It's cursed because like it's one of those things where you don't ever think about it and then occasionally it'll just pop in your head and you're like Ugh. I always um well I remember we were talking about earlier, the audience, the, what we were gonna review. And it's not really more of a review, but it's more of like a, a like a, a ponder. Okay, a like ponder. We got a, like a brainstorm. Like, what, how much like Chinese knockoff shit can we really buy? Like, from Wish? Like, like, like anything we think. Well, what I mean is like, you know how there's like knockoffs of like TVs and cell phones and shit? Yeah. Like, what could they not? You know what I mean? That we could legally purchase in the US. I mean, I feel like in China there's like no rules on that shit. So oh, absolutely, there's not. Because I remember, um, I think it was a fucking. I, I think it was like a Vice video or something. But like, there's like markets, you know, where you like buy food and shit, but mm -hmm. it's like cell phone parts. And there's a dude that bought like a like an Apple and like an Apple like iPhone 10 and yeah. put it together for like 150 bucks. Oh my fucking god! Well, I mean, if you think about it though, like, there's no way to protect your. Like, you can get it from over there for hella cheap because think about all the discarded parts or whatever because they got the Apple factory. Well, it's just there. they have the just individual parts. It's like when people are selling, like, Glock kits to put a Glock together. You didn't hear that, ATF. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't hear shit. <laughs> but, but you know what I mean, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of the ATF, um, I wanted to comment on this earlier, but you posted on your personal Facebook page. I look like David page. Koresh. I know I do. No, you posted on, yeah, you posted on your personal Facebook page. I like how I was able about to tag him. Da yeah, uh, about David Koresh. And then the big dick energy it took to straight up just tag the ATF. <laughs> like, hey, government organization, I promise I'm not going to go Waco on you. <laughs> well, it's just like, I promised that they wouldn't commit crimes against humanity on me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't call them out. I, oh, just, oh. I asked permission for them not to kill me. Oh. <laughs> I, if it wouldn't well, bother It sounded more like a threat. You know, it no, just, It reminded no. me more of like Shaggy, like, are you threatening me? No, it's more of a, it's more, it was more of like a plea. Yeah, I feel like if you grew your hair out more, like not to like a mullet length, but, but more like, just the, like, like the long just hair, out, yeah. just the long hair. And I had a rougher beard. Like yeah, really I mean, you really do. I mean, you do, like, if, in all honesty, you have the serial killer glasses. Now. He was a serial killer. No, no, I'm saying like in general, your glasses are like serial oh, killer I vibes. Know. Because like every movie you see of like older serial killers, they always they're got the always big wearing, aviators. Yeah, with the additional bridge thing right there. Yeah, it's to, it's for support for our heavy cleft palates that <laughs> rest on it. <laughs> so I mean, because our mom because our moms gave us fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> so uh, on a scale of one to ten, why do you think people look like think you look like a pedophile? That's the glasses. It's the glasses. I'd say it's the glasses, the hair, and the face. <laughs> so, so about everything. So everything about See, you. See, but that's the thing, though, is it teaches you not to judge a book by a cover. Because I'm totally not a child raper. But you totally... Okay, tell me this. If you, like They say don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. But when you go in... When you're searching for a movie on Netflix, or you're looking for a book, don't you go based off the cover art? Not necessarily. 
The Bible so, doesn't have a great cover. <laughs> <laughs> it well, just has the Holy Bible on it. <laughs> I still like the book. <laughs> well, I mean, but let's say that you see a, um, a video of an un... A unspecified catch, kind on think, the internet. Okay. Um, okay, you but judge? you're saying I think it's I think what you mean is like the 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 cover of the book is like the eye catcher. It's yes. what it's what draws you in. Yeah. So you're gonna judge it. So if it looks like really dull, you're like fuck this thing. Right. But so like, I don't know. I think the cover of Catch Twenty Twenty Two looks fucking stupid, but I still like the book. It's yeah. that weird like modern I, art so Picasso I, shit. So I read that. So when I. Uh, you know, big shocker. Um, you read military stories. No, things. when I was um, in grade school, yeah, um, I read so many books that, um, like, it gets to the point where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try and read this into- the whole entire library before I leave here. Yeah. So I think I was in fifth or sixth grade. I literally went all the way to one side of the library and started checking out those like Curious George books fucking sports books yeah. and I literally made my way all the way through all the fiction section and work, started working my way into the non-fiction section before I left elementary school yeah. I had at one point I had like 30,000 AR points holy shit and like the highest thing like they had to start creating new tiers of AR points for me I got you because the highest kind of flex on me a little bit, a little bit the, the highest the highest tier was like 1200 points and you get to be like principal for a day and then everything else, and that was like your know, pizza party, blah blah blah. I had enough points where I could have been principal for like two months and been like, "Suck my dick, bitches! I run this fucking school. Uh, we're gonna do whatever the fuck I want." Anyway, when we were in high school, uh, did you ever find any like really fucked up books in high school? Like, what do you mean? Like, okay, have you ever read it? Yeah, uh, actually, I think I did yeah, remember, try and read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you read it, but uh, spoiler alert. Uh, Stephen King, for whatever reason, incorporated a fucking, like, 12... Well, you know, a bunch of 12 and 13-year-olds, right? Yeah. They have a fucking orgy, and he talks about it in the book. Fucking what? Yeah, I'm not making that up. <laughs> so he talks about a bunch of, like, adolescent teens, basically. Banging! I mean, it's very graphic. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, dude, this guy is a... <laughs> Top notch writer. Yeah, it, I mean, I, I'm really glad that I get to ha- now have to picture in my mind when I was 15, a bunch of 12 and 13 year olds banging each other. Well, but I mean, if you think about it, you're only like two years older than them. Yeah, but I know, but like, still though, like this man was like 50 something years old when he fucking wrote it. Like, it's, I know it's kind of that's fucking it's, creepy. It's kinda, yeah, it's kind of. I, I don't know how that can be more creepy than a clown that goes around and murders people, but Mur- or like eats kids. Yeah, because that's not real. <laughs> I, I think that's the thing, because that viably could not happen. I, there is no way a clown could transform himself into a gigantic spider and kill people. But it is very possible that a 50-year-old man could diddle a 12-year-old. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Am I not wrong? I mean, it's one of those things where I feel it's like... It's definitely more viable than a gigantic clown. I feel, I feel like they're... Like some writers get sheltered a lot from that type of like thinking. I don't think like, they It's do. art. No, it's not. He, Stephen, Stephen King is a highly respected and celebrated artist. Yeah, but or, I kind of, I kind of like, not for political issues here, but like he's he's one to like really ride on like the current president's fucking cock and balls like really hard. Like he he's like really big on just like shitting on him. But mm-hmm. like not being morally sound or anything, it's like you know that's really a fucking tall order from a dude <laughs> that wrote, who a wrote about a fucking twelve year old orgy pit <laughs> in a clown book. That I don't really know what the point of that was. I still don't to this day. I mean, I've only I've only seen the movie. Like I, I no, they didn't include that in the movie. I know I might have read the book, but like. For the movie, I, I hate... Dude, Stephen King would just inject, like, random fucking sexual things into all of his books. It I was think so had, weird, dude. I think, actually, I remember, like, either reading or listening to something where they kind of talked about Stephen King. And, like, he likes to write about past traumas or something. Or, I, I, I well, don't there, fucking there understand. Was, there was, I read this book called Needful Things, and it was also in their fucking library. And there's a very explicit scene of a woman... Of him talking about a woman pleasuring herself to a picture of Elvis. And I'm like, <laughs> so like, like all the I don't moms. get yeah, but like the weird thing is is like okay, if it tied into a part of the story that makes sense, it doesn't. 
Maybe they just wanted to get a little bit of like you know. Easy, I day. just write porn, Steven. <laughs> if you want to just do porn, do porn. Get a fucking pen name and write Maiden's Lover, a fucking interracial gangbang of sailors or some shit. You, I don't know. Could you imagine being a porn writer and like you're just Chris Tingle? You're an aspiring, yeah. you're, you're an aspiring writer, and you're like, I'm gonna get my like my We're not my start. By these guys, yeah, right? my start in porn. And so you write a porn script, and you're, like, super happy about it and super pumped. And you're like, yeah. guys, you need to read my manuscript. And it's like, Chad comes in and takes out his fat hog and dumps it on Karen's face. And they look at each other menacingly in the he eyes. He dumps his and he's, Yeah, and he says... Like, does he just whip it out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a stamp right yeah. on her back. <laughs> Fucking stupid yeah, bitch. Yeah, he's already got, like, like a, a 95% chub, so it's not so hard that he can't do anything to it, but it's, so it's, it's still, like, yeah, flexible. Yeah. He just pulls out and just goes... Right like, on knock, fucking, knock. Yeah, like right on her forehead. It's like, hello, your plumber's here. <laughs> what if, I'm sure to dude, check your pipes. Dude, what if they're... All right, so porn editors, like, they really have to have a lot of self-control oh, yeah. not to just insert random noises into it. Because imagine... The Hannibal Barra noises. No, imagine <laughs> if they did, like... Because you do see that, like, where they slap the dick yeah, on the girl's yeah. face. If they just like completely cut that like the sound of like the skin slapping and then just turn it into like a like a like someone knocking on a door or like a fucking I would car think horn. Hanna, if they put, <laughs> put Hanna Barbera sound effects in fucking pornos, I would lose my absolute shit. Like, the, Barbera. You, like you know, like the boink boink boink. Yeah. Uh, but that'd be the funniest shit. Well, so there's this website called eFucked. It's e f u k t dot com. And it's basically all porn bloopers and just funny stuff that happens yeah, in porn. Yeah, that's it's, where, it, like, the fucking one scream, like, the, ah! Like, <laughs> yes, it's from. Yeah, so it's, none of it is, like, true porn. It's just, I mean, it's porn scenes, but it's usually in. It's usually really shitty. Yeah, they're, and they're, porn. like, six seconds long, yeah. like, clips. Yeah, and it's fucking hilarious. And it's usually, like, ladies, like, pushing golf balls on their assholes or yeah, something. Yeah, or just, like, weird shit that happens in yeah. porn. And they just freeze frame and zoom in on someone's face, like, oh! You know what's so bad, dude? And I know I've told you about this before but I want to tell the rest of the audience I think like a running joke like still gone going now for like six fucking years with one of my friends is mm -hmm. like we watched the like the build up to these scenes in a gay porno because it's so fucking hilarious how they acted it and it was wait like, okay so hold yeah. time, time to hold give me hold a minute up. so you like just so I can understand this properly you sat around with your buddies and watched gay porn no together. we watched the build up to it. They're, we're not watching them fucking, but we're watching the like the conversations up to the fucking. So, <laughs> so you're watching a gay porn without the sex. Yeah. So you can say that you sat around and watched the gay porno with your friends. A little bit. <laughs> I mean, if you want to twist my words, but yeah. I mean, pretty much. Might as well. But the reason why is because just the way they talk. Like, because they're such shitty fucking actors. I know. I swear to God. Because it's like early 90s gay porn where like... Gays aren't really accepted, mm -hmm. I would say, you know, yeah. like, but it's just like, it's, it's literally like, it's just it's the most gross, nasty setup. It's like this dude's car gets broken down in the woods in Indiana, uh -huh. and like this dude comes up and he's, he's like, you need a ride to, to my shack or you get to use a phone? They're like, yeah, and then so he goes over there, and this dude starts taking a piss, and then all of a sudden the guy just, the guy walks around the car and goes like, oh shit, I'm sorry, and the guy just... Keeps on pissing. He's like, sorry for what? Our dads never told us to be ashamed of our dicks. It's, just, it's the funniest shit. Cause like, well, but I mean, if you think about it too, because like, if you're like standing with people and you gotta take a piss, you're gonna like walk away from them. So that means that dude had to like loop all the way around to get on the same yeah. side. <laughs> like, oh, sorry. Yeah, and the know worst part being. is the way the dude that go away, oh shit, I'm sorry. Like he's fucking Jersey or something. It's, oh. the, it's the funniest shit. <laughs> it's so dumb. I mean, dude. porn acting is one of my favorites because it's so, so bad. It can like, it can take you from being hard to soft as fuck. Just like that. I think, I think there's a humor aspect. There is it. because you're gonna get so focused on like the bad acting and laugh about it that you're like, I don't even know if I want to jerk my dick. I just kind of want to like play this on a loop and just like like clip it and send it to my friends. <laughs> somebody somebody pointed out there's a video game called Injustice. Mm -hmm. It's a fighting game that's based off of the same comic book series where like Superman goes evil and shit. Okay. And somebody took the like a fucking screen cap of of the motion captured Joker. 
in the video game and then the porn parody Joker. <laughs> and they're literally the exact same person. It is, oh, like, no. So everybody's thinking they hired that guy to do the motion capture work for the video game. <laughs> and it's, just, it's like the... Because it's literally like the exact same person. Like It's so funny. Like I'm just imagining... I'm in, imagining they had to put the fucking sensors on his dick <laughs> to get dick physics done. <laughs> so... How many how many aspiring actors do you think or like or like you know what I'm gonna get my start in porn just like aspiring? I don't actors. think I think it's the ending part. You think so? Yeah, it is because well the only reason well, one of the Red Ranger Rangers. from the first series of Power Rangers. Wait, he wanted the porn. He did. That was his <laughs> last thing he did of notoriety apparently. Because <laughs> um so the story of the Red Ranger the first Red Ranger. Was, More like uh, Red Rocket. <laughs> yeah, he tried MMA after. Power Rangers was so great. he thought that he could put on this fucking red suit and go. Yeah, he was like on a TV. He was a legitimate martial artist. Mm. Sounds like, more like uh, what's that fucking dude? Uh, uh, he gets made fun of all the time. He like does like karate and shit like that. He's a uh, uh, he's not David Hasselhoff. Uh, fucking Christ, Jean Claude Van Damme. No, it's a dude that like has his own show. Steven he, Seagal. Steven Seagal. Like, oh, he's just fat as shit. No, no I, yeah, exactly. But it, it it sounds like. Almost one of those Steven Seagal things. Like I played a Power Ranger, I can do MMA. No, but like I think I think Steven Seagal's like actually well trained in kendo or some shit. Yeah, but it's still fucking Steven Steven Seagal. D- okay. Tom Segura has a really good dent on him. Okay, and I like, don't know because like I only seen a couple Steven Seagal. I don't. I can't tell you one good Steven Seagal movie. Like they're all cheesy. <laughs> they're all shit. But and he's then huge he's like, in Asia. Huge. He's yeah. really. Huge in Russia too. Like he spends a lot of time in Russia too. That's where you think his buddies with Putin. I think he's better dead than I fucking red. I, I think he's. I think he's. You like, think a double I think agent? Tra- I think he's training. Do you, do you think Steven Seagal would call up the CIA and be like, "Hey, listen here, I." Uh, no, he's gonna be like, "Hey, I'm Steven Seagal." I'm Steven Seagal. And his I, jowls I, getting those. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like fucking Nixon. Yeah, he's like, I played a CIA agent, a CIA agent on like three TV shows. I think I can do this. Make me an agent. I'll go to Russia. I'll get in with Putin, and then I'll be a double agent. Did you ever? Uh, did you ever hear? That there was a TV show in the early two thousand with Arsenio Hall, and I might be pronouncing his name wrong. I think it's Hu Si Young. Yeah. And is this fat Chinese dude? And he did kung fu, like really good kung fu for a man his size. Mm-hmm. Like he's a big boy. Like, yeah. He, you know, two three hundred pounds, but like Hell he did yeah. like Jackie Chan style. It's called. I think it's called. Uh, Oh fuck! Somebody's gonna please, please correct me if I cannot remember the name of it. But it's like a buddy cop show. Mm-hmm. It's like it came out the round like you could tell it was totally a fucking rush hour cop. Because <laughs> yeah. it's just like okay, we need a black dude and a Chinese dude. <laughs> and we gotta make this TV what do you, show. What do you what do you think the 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 Doctor Thunder version of Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan is? Literally what I just told you. Or Sam <laughs> Hall and that fat Chinese dude. <laughs> That's seriously what it is. Yeah. And then like an even like I think like a great value one <laughs> would be would be um Dennis Rodman and Jet um Jet Lee's pretty good though. I can't talk shit. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was gonna say he's a legend. I would say the guy off a of hard boiled I'd have never who's some fat <laughs> That's not seriously his name. No, one of my favorite movies of all time is Hard Boiled. And uh, I, I, it's, I've it's, never, I've never, what the hell is hard? Okay, boiled? hard, just put hard boiled movie. So, hard boiled uh, eggs? No, hard boiled movie. So, uh, Sing Fat is, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Who's oh, Fat. okay, I've seen this dude. You know, yeah, movies. he was in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Ah, okay. And this was his breakout role, and so. Hard boy, he, it's funny because his face looks like an egg in this movie. It does. <laughs> no, so. What, John Woo! What this movie was really big about is mm-hmm. it brought out the act of gun kata. Which is like gun fighting, like. Oh, here. so you mean just gat gat? Watch the trailer. Watch the trailer, and I'll I'll keep talking so you can understand what I'm talking about here. Okay. Uh, hard boiled movie. Just video. Trailer. Just trailer. Just put, yeah, there you go. Trailer. Keep going. Yeah. Um. So what's really great about it is like, I think there was like an access of like three hundred thousand bullets fired in this movie. Excess of three hundred thousand. Like blanks. Because oh, okay. like you'll see, Miramax picked it up. And, you know, that's kind of a dated term now. It came out in 1992. In 92. Yeah. It came out in the 80s in China, but it came out earlier. But, like, it's a story about, like, gun smugglers or some shit with drugs and shit, and they're shipping it into China. And the the trailer's actually really fucking awesome because, like, this is all live effects. Like, Mm -hmm. 
no CG, nothing. Like, look at all this shit that's going on. I wish you guys could see it. Please look this up because it's one of my favorite movies. Like, shit exploding, shit, guns, fire, boom, bam, clap. You know, it's a, it's a great fucking action movie. And that uh, actually does look like it. Oh, it's fucking badass, dude. Oh, like, you know, you got the stereotypical, like, hard ass. Yeah, Asian coming in with the sunglasses on. Yeah, then there's like, who, who's song. I think it's who's song. Fat. I I really want to make sure that's his right name. I've probably been pronouncing it wrong the entire time. Yeah, it's like, fine. Oh, look, he, he looks like, like a fucking hard ass though in this movie. Like he's a fucking badass. And, that dude uh, it's, was definitely he, Saddam Hussein. Yeah, right. Did you see that? Yeah, he looked like Saddam Hussein. That's Saddam Hussein. Yeah. That's <laughs> Um, but, like, it's a really good movie, because, like, um, that's the intro was... scene right there. Is he just fucking pot, like, fucking just fucking smashes a guy with a tea kettle. And, like, this is the opening scene where it's literally just... There's fucking just... Okay, no. All right, I'm sorry. What? There, there was two Colt 45s. There are 19... Excuse me. Two 1911s. Yeah. In the bottom of a fucking bird cage. Yeah. And they just stomp on it. Yeah. There's no way that they fucking fit in there because they show like it's this fucking cheesy ass fucking you know action kung, mm. like kung fu movie. And so like Hu Sung Fat is the uh, his partner gets killed in the line of duty, and it's just a like a oh so show. Rush Hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, except, Rush well, Hour except with without Chris come? Tucker, ninety seven. Uh, well, no, hold on. The who first was, Rush Hour is Chris was, Tucker and Jackie Chan. No, well, no, who was the the dude? Uh, the like, I'm getting too old for this shit. Oh, god damn it. I know, was that, that was called? Lethal Weapon. Oh, well, isn't Rush Hour a base off of Lethal Weapon? No, didn't Lethal Weapon come out I mean, before you, Rush could, Hour? you could say, well, yeah, Lethal Weapon came out in the late it was 80s. the 80s, that's what like I thought. Like 87, something like, like that? Like early 80s, or late 80s, early 90s. I can't remember that, guys, the, 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 the African-American gentleman that played in that. I can't remember. <sighs> it's Mel Gibson... And that's 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 it's, right. And it's Mel Gibson pre I Hate Jews. <laughs> Before he lost his Laker tickets. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I lost my fucking Laker tickets. Yeah, Lethal Weapon. Um, God, I just can't remember. Oh God, they made a. Oh, they did a remake. Yeah, they did a remake. Dude, dude there was like Weapon. five, f- four or five fucking movies of them. Oh yeah, I mean they were good. They were doing Lethal Weapons up around the time they fucking came. What, what was it? Eighty seven. Okay. Uh, Martin Riggs, Mel Gibson, Danny Glover. Danny Glover. That's yeah. who his name was. Roger Mur- Murtaugh? 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 I don't know. And then, yeah, and then I forgot fucking Gary Busey's in it. That crazy bastard. Who the fuck's Gary Busey? Oh, you know him. I, I probably do, but... Click, I, I, he's I, right I, there. He's right there at the bottom. Look, scroll down a little bit. Right there. Gary Busey. Oh, my God. Yeah, you yeah. know that guy. He that guy's like, fucking nuts. He looks like uh, Dennis Leary, almost. He, uh... You know what I mean? Yeah, so... I really feel bad about Gary Busey because he got in a really bad motorcycle accident. Like Tracy, well, I mean, Tracy Lawrence did, but, or Tracy Morgan, Tracy Morgan. Yeah, Tracy Morgan, but, like, um, he got, like, fucked up in the head after it. And they, you know, the I drugs, mean, he looks like it. The drugs didn't help either, but, like, he's, he's really <laughs> fucked, he did a lot of drugs. And, um. I mean, you get, like, you, you can tell, you like, yeah. Like, there's, like, fucking, like, Your he's, like, biting people and shit. Because he got them big old fucking horse chompers. Yeah, just big old fucking dick smackers. Yeah, and <laughs> his son was in the movie called Starship Troopers. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Uh, yes. I, actually, the guy that's on the front of Starship, Starship Troopers almost looks like, uh, Frodo. Yeah. Like that actor. It's you like a I mean? John claude Van... No, is that John claude Van Damme in that movie? I'm horrible with actors, dude. Like I, Look it up. I know I what know. they look like. I I, re- I can recognize movie, like some what, actors. What uh, Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers. Oh, a bunch of people are listening. Like these guys are fucking idiots. Nerds. Oh, all they have to do is look shit up. What the go fuck, down. man? Go down. Let's just list the actors. Who list the it? actors. Uh, Casper Van Dien. Juan Rico. Oh yeah, Casper Van Dien. John Claude Van Dien knockoff. That's how I knew. No, Patrick Harris is in there. Patrick, yeah. Oh, these are all the updated. Yeah, he shots. was the one. He was the one that went to the mother uh, bug and just went. She's scared. And then everybody's always like photoshopped over like feminist haircuts or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's big and fat. <laughs> God damn. That's it. the only reason I remember that scene because yeah. I've seen all the memes. <laughs> but that movie was surprisingly fucked up, and it kind of fucked me up as a kid. Like, I saw people get eaten by bugs and shit, and I was like, I do not like this. That's probably making me pretty squeamish. Yeah, it's like, the reason it's rated R, dumbass. (laughs) So, I assume your parents weren't the type to be like, fall. Oh, fuck no, dude. 12 years old, I was watching Caddyshag, Major League. Major League was one of my favorites. Yes, I fucking love Major League. Then the second one came out, sucked absolute dick and balls. I don't know how you can fuck that movie Well, that and Grease 2. Like, like, I forgot. What about Caddyshag 2? 
I don't think I ever saw it. Oh, it's bad. You know what really pisses me off is whenever a studio's trying to get greedy and like turn a single greatest movie, like like yeah. a great hit movie, yeah. and try and turn it into a franchise so they can get more money, oh, and then just completely fuck it up. Oh, like so Star that, Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Shots yeah, I fucking that. fired. I said that. <laughs> But I mean, it's one of those. money, George Lucas, and I sold Lucas films for eighteen billion dollars so I could get more money. <laughs> then they invited me back. But I mean, think about it though. Like, if you hadn't ever seen like Grease one, um, right when it came out, and you watched Grease two, and you're like, this movie fucking sucks. You're not gonna go back and watch Grease one. Yeah, why isn't John mm-hmm. Travolta banging all the fucking stagehand boys in the background of this movie? <laughs> Did you ever hear that? No. Rumor? Yeah, ru- there's always rumors. I Allegedly. Mean, was, there was rumors that like this actor's gay. I feel like that was a big thing probably like before like. like now where it's not a big hopefully. fucking deal. Yeah, someone's like, oh, this person's gay. Fucking and. Yeah. <laughs> like we, yeah. I thought we settled that a long time ago. No. We didn't. <laughs> Although my big one was, I always thought, like, you know how, like, Alec Baldwin's, like, this diehard neoliberal and everything? Yeah. And then, like, but, like, if you go in the mid-2000s, like, it went on this super homophobic rant that he, he got drunk and called some dude, and I don't remember who it was, the exact context of it, but he called him the F word mm-hmm. and all this other stuff, and now he's just like, oh, we gotta save everybody. It's <laughs> like, shut up, Sean. No, my, my, my favorite is seeing uh, John Travolta get really worked up because he's like fat now. You oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can tell like the Botox, like his fucking eyebrows. Are yeah, like and then this. he just goes, Bruh! you know, he's just got that fucking turkey yeah, chin. Yeah, you're gonna have to grab that fucking adrenaline needle off of the <laughs> Fucking stab him right I don't get the point of Botox. Like, just accept you're getting old and dying. What if you want a fatter hog, though? Is it worth that? <laughs> I mean, it might. I don't know. It's venom. I actually, don't, I don't want to inject venom. I see what happens. Actually, with there's there's this dude in Germany. I watched this video. It's like a vice. He got he got a fucking silicone injection. Yes. We talked about yeah, him. I think two or three episodes. Ago. I don't think so. I think we might have. It's been so on dumb. A it, it'll kill the balls. You can't do that. It will kill your testicles. But would you rather have a fat old hog? And not have test. I mean, I'll be honest with you. My girlfriend right now has never complained about the size of my hog. So I'm, I'm not. But what if you just wanted a girthy fucking hog? I mean, maybe if I was like to the point where I couldn't have kids anymore. And I was just like, yep, yeah, time for fat fucking nuts. Well, I mean, the thing about that dude is like he can't even use it though. You know yeah. What I mean? You can't fit it in a vagina. That's all about his well, is self-esteem. This, was it his penis? or is his his, penis. Oh, I thought it was his balls. No, there's this dude who like literally his dick is like that big around. And like that long, like he has to wear like special pants. It's just out all the time. He got so Wasn't many. Was he like fifty something years old? Not even I, that see, old. See, I know the worst part. I say that, but like you think, like obviously young people have sex and everything, and then I think there's like a stigma where people think when you get past a certain age, you don't have sex. Even no, that's, that's the, the fucking opposite. retirement homes are like the biggest. Like they have outbreaks of STDs. Isn't that kind of fucked up? Because like you know, a lot of those people that are in retirement homes are like not all there in the fucking head. Well, I mean, I feel like, so it depends, I feel like it really depends on the retirement home and yeah. like how, what the average age of the citizens are. Well, you mean a retirement community, maybe. A retirement community, yeah, there you go. Okay, not a some, home, because yeah, home is like hospice care, where yeah. like, they got like really like late stage dementia. And they, yeah, they can't, yeah, so a retirement community. Yeah, like, like where they all got well, there's like, just like, always that like old guy who used to slay in his 20s, now he's like 70, he's like, yeah, he's got his, his fucking dick He's like, hey, Charlene down the street. Yeah, yeah. he's got his, his fucking foreskin, looks like a pair of really saggy old eyelids. And or he doesn't have foreskin. That's true. Because he had circumcised. He did. For the medical maybe. benefits. Maybe. maybe I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he got lied to. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I bet you when you're that old, it doesn't matter if you got circumcised or not. Your dick, your dick skin is just gonna. It like, just looks like down. it just looks like it looks like a fuck. It looks like the fucking ghoul from. Uh, well, what if you like whenever like if you're actually circumcised when you get older, like your dick skin stretches out, so it looks like you're uncircumcised. But if you were uncircumcised before. It just looks like a, like a little snout hanging off the end of your dick because like the skin just went extra far. You know what I mean? Okay. Like like instead of it just covering your penis. I could ask goes, my sister. She's like been studying human bodies because she's becoming a doctor, and I could ask her. Your about sister's that. becoming a doctor? Yeah. You like PhD? Uh, like MD? I think, uh, I think so. Yeah. She's she's becoming she a pre-med? rural medicine doctor. Oh, uh, so like a physician then? Yeah. Yeah. But she's she's going to med school and shit. Is, is, but is she studying? Pre-med. She's doing pre-med. Is she right doing now, biology yeah. right now? I, I have no fucking clue. She's just doing pre-med. She's on like this is next year will be her. How old am I? She's twenty-one. Next year will be her fourth year. 
So it'll be her last year at K-State, and then she goes to the KU Med Center in Kansas City. Damn. What the fuck you been doing with your life? I <laughs> I think I'm fairly successful. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I deliver propane. My sister. Fuck okay. you. I make, yeah. make mid-$40,000 a year. I live a very comfortable life. <laughs> That's shitty. What no. What the fuck? Oh, fuck you. Anyone compared to a doctor or like an architect or an engineer. We never made it about that, though. What do you mean, we? Like, everybody thinks that, like, oh, do you have, like, a sibling rivalry with your sister? I don't. I'm more Oh, I'm no, I'm, no, I'm saying, like, the stereotype, or... like, you know, because uh, there's always going to be, like, a comp- quote-unquote competition. Oh. Between like siblings, oh, no, like, like in the family, that. but like if someone's like, "Hey man, like I haven't seen you in a long time. What are you doing?" Oh, I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I, I build houses for a living. Oh, cool, man. How's your sister doing? Oh, she's a doctor. She's a surgeon. And they're like, "Fucking wow." And they're like, "Oh, she must be really killing it." You're like, "Thanks, asshole." I mean, I thought I was fine with myself, but I mean, yeah, I, I guess so. my fucking sister's yeah, a fucking surgeon. Yeah, I, I assume so. You know, I don't look at her paycheck or anything. You know? <laughs> I never. I've been like, yeah, she must be fucking killing it. Fuck, I don't know. I don't do her taxes. She must, well, she's a surgeon. She might be killing them. I mean, you yeah, never know. Yeah, you never know. Medical malpractice. Like I heard, they went up through the roof. I mean, that's actually like one of the leading causes of death. In medical malpractice. Yes. I think it's because people are too fat. Or people just don't, like, I mean, not everything is, like, a house. Like, I love watching House and shit oh, like that. Oh, dude, that's, like, one of the most medically inaccurate shows I ever. know, but, like, everyone gets this idea about the medical community, that like, whatever. But, I mean, honestly, sometimes they get it wrong or they something goes misdiagnosed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you don't go to that specialist or you don't get referred to a specialist. And then it's like, well, uh, we fucked that one up. Uh, yeah, I guess talk, gonna, yeah. talk it up to a loss and move on. Well, yeah, it kind of sucks because, like, you know, there's a lot of fat people dying of pneumonia and shit. Mm-hmm. Because, and then, like, they can't get operated on because they're just so fucking fat they wouldn't survive. die, yeah. And I just, they make, you know, it's really sad, you know? Because, like, you know, I'm not trying to say that you don't have to be 125 pounds and shit, but if you weigh 400 fucking pounds, unless Plus. you're 7'10", that ain't really too healthy. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're five eight and you weigh four hundred pounds, like but you're beautiful, body positive. No, you're not. <laughs> you're, you're 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 gonna die an early death, and everyone around you is gonna be very sad. Live hard, die fast. That's not living hard. Live fast, die hard. I never knew somebody that worked hard to get four hundred pounds. That's uh, five eight. You know how much work it would take to eat enough to weigh four hundred fucking pounds? I have no fucking. By the time you're like twenty five. I have no clue. <laughs> be a lot of sweating, a lot of. Out, I don't need to be breath. a lot of sweating, obviously. I mean, you'd have to. <laughs> I mean, you need to eat so fast that you sweat. Yeah, and I mean, you know, there are people with fucking gland gland problems and shit where they can't. But like, dude, come on. We don't have to preach at them. Yeah, I we gotta keep it light. Sure. We gotta keep it light. What are you doing? They aren't. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. Um, let's see. What that just? I don't know. This. I'm. It's supposed to be fuck. I know this is fucking gay and dumb. We were talking about the weather. <laughs> I mean, the only reason I say it's gay is because I'm gonna get ass fucked on Monday when it's 91 degrees. Because I fucking hate the heat. I, dude, I'm not ready for the heat. Don't you work in an office? I. It doesn't mean that that office I'm is giving, not cool. I'm giving you shit. Okay. I worked outside plenty of time in I'm my life. I'm giving you shit, dude. I'm like, wearing... I don't understand. Like, it's it's funny. You could work your fucking dick off your entire life. Yeah. And then you move into an office, and someone, even though you worked, like, 40 years out in the field, be like, oh, you don't work a fucking office job. What's the big deal? Oh, yeah, it's hot for that five Everybody minute thinks that, office. like, there's this machismo fucking... I'm more of a man because I work outside. Cool. Cool. You just not. You're like, let me give you a fucking trophy. Do you <laughs> want a trophy for being a man? You want a little fucking trophy for being a man? Do you want to get your fucking Limp Biscuit CDs all in your fucking 2008 Chevrolet pickup? Creed. And... Creed. Fucking Creed. Okay. No, they don't listen to that anymore because <laughs> their fucking uncle used to touch and do it. <laughs> so now they get, their, they get their fucking they get their fucking corn and Limp Biscuit CDs in their 2008 Chevrolet pickup. Dude, they corn go, used to slap. Corn still kind of does. I mean, I remember being, I was like 2006. Uh, Listening to like a um, fucking like shoot. No, maybe, no, it was 2000, it would have been 2009, 2010. It was like coming undone. That was corn, right? Yeah, remember that shit used to fucking That was 2007 that came out. Really? Yeah, it was like. It was but that's when we back, probably listened to Yeah, that. but back in the good old days when you would just go <laughs> with your friends to, the, to Walmart and you'd buy like a 12 pack of 
Mountain Shasta. Dew. No, it was a twelve pack of Mountain Dew or, or Mountain Thunder. Yeah. If you were or Mountain Lightning. It depends on which corn C D you listen to. If you listen to the self titled corn C D of nineteen ninety three, you definitely bought Mountain Thunder. <laughs> because your parents smoke crack. <laughs> <laughs> or you lived in a trailer. Yeah. I never lived in a trailer, but, but we your were parents like, smoke crack? What? But your parents smoke crack? No. They just yelled a lot. <laughs> but, uh... But, you know, that was back in the day when you'd buy, like, like a 12-pack of Mountain Dew, and then you'd go back to your buddy's house and just fucking, like, play Xbox until, um, fucking, like, 3 in the morning or, like, watch TV and stay up late as fuck. I'm mm-hmm. a zoner. I, was, I honestly thought about going back to school to become a pharmaceutical technician. You want to be a pharmaceutical technician? I thought about it. Well, then you're not a man because you wouldn't be out working in the field. With your hands. But I'd be counting pills for for them to get hooked on opiates. I mean, I count pills, and it's not an official title. Oh. Oh. You didn't hear that. Uh. FDA. Oh, but I'm saying. ATF. Though, but I'm FBI. Saying, yeah, I'm saying I get to wear a little <laughs> white coat with my mullet, and I'll be counting people's Percocets for them and everything. Percocet, Molly Percocet. And then I gotta explain to him, I was like, okay, don't take this while drinking, or else you'll get really fucked up, and it'll oh, be kind of What? Fun. Okay, all right, so what if you're a pharmacist, pharmacy technician, Yeah. and you were just like rude and savage as fuck, when people came to get their prescription? Hey, you old crippled fuck. <laughs> yeah, like walk up to them, and like, all right, so here's your Oxycontin, don't take more than two, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam! Smack in the face. What I say? Don't take more than two. Bam! You got it right. Just like smacking the shit yeah, out of him. Yeah, just this old bitch comes up. <laughs> this old stupid bitch trying to get her heart medication. Just like God, you're not dead yet. Shit. She's like, how do I take these? It's like I don't know. You can take out your fucking dentures and just chew on them. Like, dumb bitch. Just be unreasonably rude at the fucking Dillons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't wait to be a pharmacy tech so I can go work at a Dylan's and yell at old people. Yeah, make like they make like twenty bucks and I don't know what they fucking make. I need to do more research. They make, I like, just si- like, they make like sixty to seventy five thousand. I a thought year. about just like, dude, I could just well like that's a full on pharmacist. I wanna do a pharmaceutical technician where they call the pharmacist and they tell me, Okay, they need X and X amount of pills, mm-hmm. put the pills in the bag. And then I'll be like, okay, they need 20 tabs of oxycodone. I will put 20. Well, you can go get your like apprenticeship done on the street selling drugs. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I think it is because you got to count the pills. Yeah, dude. It's, it's yeah. just like construction. You know, you yeah. got to start from the bottom, work your way up. You start slinging crack in Detroit. Yeah. yeah. And then you move to Chicago. Yeah. Right? Big leagues. And then you go down yeah. to Miami. And then yeah. you, that's when you get, start getting the high That's the major leagues. That's major leagues. Yeah. And then you go to pharmacy technician school. And then you're in there, and they're like, all right, so the chemical makeup of um, Oxycontin is this. And you're like, bitch, no, you wrote that wrong. You go up and you correct it. How much, how much baking soda did you cook with the cocaine to make crack? Exactly. Like, so where do we cut it? I remember too. <laughs> yeah, no, a, a drug dealer from the streets who has a pharmacy, t- pharmacy school. Yeah, so uh, at what process do we, do we cut it? Uh, excuse me? Yeah, so when we get the drugs, when do we cut it? And do I have a hot plate? Or am I kicking over a stove? Because it makes a difference. That'd be so fucking. <laughs> Dude, that shit. is a fucking movie. See, that's the problem. That's a fucking Dude, that's movie. That's the problem. I couldn't. I don't. That, that's at like the same time though. It's like I think like there's enough blue collar like sensibility left to me mm-hmm. still that like I think I'd fucking joke wrong once and it'd really fuck my life. What in pharmacy life. school? Yeah. Why? Like I don't know. I just I have like this gripping feeling because like I get really scared whenever I get in like white collar situation. Because I've never been in those situations before, and I'm afraid like they don't. So your coping mechanism is to call everyone not a man because they're white collar. I've never collar. said that. <laughs> no, no, but uh, the bl- general blue collar workers. Because I worked with a lot of people who like. A lot of them are fucking dumb. Yes, I worked with a because I worked. Like they're good at what they do, but like. Yeah, I like I worked construction. I I was in the military, and that the, those are very large blue collar demographics, and. Yeah. I worked with some smart people who were like just were hardworking and they enjoyed that line of work. And then I worked with some people like they had literally no fucking choice but to do that job. They were really hard workers, but they were fucking dumb. Not even. And so whenever they were just, they were just there was like nothing going on upstairs. Yeah, and I mean when they would the reason one of the reason main reasons. Hey why, guys, redneck news. Fuck rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not saying that, but um, one of the um, reasons why they would like hate office workers so much is because they go on a job site and like hey, you get these blueprints blah 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 they're like you're fucking wrong and then they leave them like fuck that guy he works in the fucking office what does he know about this like because they messed up and that person was smarter than them so they're 
coping mechanism for writing that something that was stupid. Yeah, the one. I coping. will. I, I understand why the engineers do some shit that they need to do, but sometimes they do fuck up too. They fuck up all the time. They're like, Especially, "Oh, this looks, this works well on paper," and you get out there and you're like, "That's not gonna fucking work." And like, "Yeah, it will." Come down here and look at it. Oh, you're right. Uh, this not gonna work. Yeah, and then you know the normal person, maybe their coping mechanism is to think that we're stupid. Oh yeah, because oh, like yeah, oh these sad. fucking yeah, they fucking did it wrong. Oh these stupid fucking goddamn gringos. <laughs> Dude, that's what's gonna. Wouldn't that be like a funny like culture change? Is what? If you, where, like, where like whites were minorities. And well, was, no, it's instead of like you know how like the like the white like field engineer or whatever like. Oh, it's like all like oh, it's all like Mexicans. Yeah, come and out just and like these stupid fucking gringos. <laughs> we should deport them. <laughs> I mean, it probably happens in Mexico, though. Because there's a lot of white people that are, like, like native to Mexico or, like, South America and shit like That's that. That's true. I remember there was this, uh, there was this blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy that grew up in China. Mm-hmm. Everybody thought he was really racist. Yeah. Because he spoke, like, perfect Chinese. And he had a Chinese accent, but everybody thought he was, like, really fucking racist. <laughs> I felt so bad for the guy. Well, so, you know what's kind of funny that, like, I didn't realize until, like, maybe a week ago? Is that white people can live in other countries? No, it was, uh, <laughs> I was listening to Tom Segura's podcast, and, yeah. um, then he was recalling a conversation about, like, so, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, he was talking about, he went to somewhere. No, it's not, it was one of his specials. I'm yeah. fucking terrible at telling stories. But, oh, you're fine. Uh, was that you're checking, not as bad in, as checking into a hotel, and the dude was like, "You Mexican? Or you? Are you, you Japanese? You Chinese? Or whatever?" Got into it, and basically was like, "You understand that you know there's white people that live in Mexico who were born there and they speak fluent, you know, Spanish. Cool. It's not like you know." If you're white, you were born in America, you automatically speak English. Yeah. And he's like, and you also realize that there's Asian people that uh, are live in like Mexico and Central America and are fluent in Spanish. Yeah. And I never have once thought about that. The fact that you could run into like an Asian uh, Mexican, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? And like you look at him, you're like, oh, Asian, this is why you either speak. Some sort of Mandarin or well, I think the reason or why something we, or English. I think the reason why we think that much mostly by Asian countries mm-hmm. is because a lot of them are pretty. Well, I feel like there's some off. sort of expectation though because we live in a melting pot like of a country. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you see, you see Asians, you see like every different race, ethnicity, and stuff yeah. like that. And so either you to them speaking English or um, their native tongue, but you don't ever think about. If you went down to Mexico, you wouldn't see like an Asian. You'd all, us, we'd automatically think, all right, they either speak Chinese or some sort of Asian language or English, but they speak full blown uh, Spanish. You're like, fuck, what? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're just you, so used to in America with it being such a melting pot of English or their native tongue. Yeah. You know what I mean? You never think about like, oh, a different race could speak an entirely different language. Like, that is like not. how I'd get confused if an <laughs> Irish guy was speaking fluent Australian. <laughs> I'm like, dude. I feel like that. I feel like seeing people that you expect to sound one way and then sound a completely different way. Just yeah, if you're, the if fuck you're out. expecting, if you're, if you're expecting a guy to sound like this, and then then he comes out, he's like, I can't. How you fucking <laughs> doing? You know, like, just some pasty white uh, fucking redheaded fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah, just be, just be like, all right, mate, you want to come on down, hop in the fucking ute. We'll, we'll go over there, get some fucking macas, smoke a couple darts, and then we we'll go fucking punch a kangaroo in the jab. Dude, that'd be fucking. That'd be fucking hilarious. I don't think I would know what to do. I'd say I'd be uh, fuck yeah, dude. Okay, dude. Australia would be really fucking cool if you had guns. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Australia would be fucking a blast, dude. Well, I mean, it's, it was all outlaws, anyways. So I mean, yeah. When did they when did they give up their guns? Wasn't it like late? I 90s? don't know. It was in the nineties. I couldn't like, tell you. I don't know why you would though, because think There's about still all people the people that have guns. Oh yeah, but I mean, think about all the poisonous shit down there. It'd be like living in Alaska, where you're allowed to like carry a shot, loaded shotgun, oh, like yeah. within arm's reach oh, of a yeah. vehicle, oh, yeah. and like it's basically mandated yeah. that you carry one because yeah. of all the wildlife. Australia gonna fucking die. Don't yeah. Man. So I mean, you would think Australia would be the same way, but I guess most they got of their, machetes and shit. And I think most because they're not big animals. They're it's smart. all like insects and like you, yeah, all you know, like incest. Fucking, <laughs> and like snakes and shit like that. Yeah. So it's not like a big predator, but there's no way in fuck I'd really go down to Australia though because of I mean, the you can go to Sydney or New Queensland. That's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, my sister went down there and studied abroad. And she said Sydney just smells like piss 24 7. Well, yeah, because it's hot and it's humid. 
Yeah, but she said it just smells like straight up piss and shit. And they were like, all oh, right, you get used to the fucking piss smell. <laughs> just wipe your fucking dick on a koala, it'd be all right. <laughs> don't actually That's wipe your dick shammies. on a yeah. That's what you use as just out there cleaning their fucking Dude, cars. koalas are so fucking stupid. They're cute as fuck, though. I about said the R word. <laughs> R word's... You've already said it on, like, every R-word's other podcast. R word's retard, by the way. <laughs> but, yeah. They, Instead of racist. They, they have a smooth... Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have a smooth brain. And I don't know if you know what that means, but, like, mm-hmm. they don't have a higher form of thinking. Like, they're so fucking dumb. They eat, Their main diet's eucalyptus leaves, right? Mm-hmm. Which is actually poisonous. I'm surprised so you can pronounce that. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty good. I, <laughs> I, I've been told that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of a... A smarty? No, more a smarty of a... smarty pants? I would say like a like a hidden talent sometimes, hidden but hiding. anyway, I don't know. Yeah, hidden talent, crouching racism. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really racist. You can't be racist towards Australian people. You can't be against the Aborigines, not Australians. Um, but apparently, but anyway, <laughs> anyway um, they're so stupid that like if you take okay, so you know you can yeah. leaves come on branches. If you take the leaf off and give it to them, they don't know what to do. They're that dumb. They don't know how to process it. They won't eat it. <laughs> you have to give them the branch, and they have to grab onto the branch and pick it off and eat it. They're that fucking stupid. Like it's, it's like, you know. So that sounds to me like I care. Like all right, imagine this. Was, all right, they put a call out worldwide, guys. So we koalas are koalas. about to fucking die and oh become my God. extinct. We need the most to, useful animal need, of all time. We need to get them food. Yeah. A bunch of fucking Karens would hop on a plane from America, go down there, yeah. pick as many as they could off of as many trees to the point where there's no left growing on trees. And they die. And, and then that'd take be so it, funny. And take it to all the koalas that are left. And they're like, here, here's all of the, ko- the eucalyptus leaves. And they're like, can't figure it out. Fucking dead. Fucking dirt. They're so stupid. Like, I don't... Like, there's just some animals that are meant to go extinct, like the dodo bird. Yeah. Because the dodo literally killed itself because it's too stupid. Yeah, I've seen Ice Age. Yeah. And then, and, yeah, Ice Age is a proper representation, obviously. There's a historical record. Yeah, absolutely. And so, besides the dodo, um, next one's pandas. I... Fuck... Don't we even... Force, talk, dude, do not talk shit on pandas. For, no, can I please? I'm not gonna shit on pandas, but I'm gonna shit on pandas. Yeah, we force pandas. We force pandas to exist. Yeah, because they're cute as fuck. We have make you, them rape each other. Have you seen them go down slides? Oh, it's cute. It's the cutest fucking thing you've ever but seen. But they're pretty useless. But they're wise. fucking awesome though. Oh, they are cool, but like, animal wise, like what's I mean, dogs, what's, dogs? what's three things that animals do? Eat, fuck, do bowel movements, and bang, and procreate. Yeah. Pandas don't do number three. We have to force them to have sex. Yeah. Uh, and that's why it's such a big deal whenever a baby panda is born. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why fucking Pornhub did this giant campaign where I, I think they're... Oh, they wanted people to, to make amateur porn of them wearing panda suits because they would show... When they, they tried showing pandas human porn of, like, people dressed as pandas... Um, to try and get them to like coerce them into fucking because they weren't fucking. Yeah, that sounds and, like. And Pornhub did a giant campaign. That, that sounds like that sounds like a human. That sounds it like worked, a, it's a furry agenda. Some, <laughs> some fucking some fucking Pornhub executives like just beating his fucking dick to pan like an anthropomorphic panda with some big old titties. Like, dude, <laughs> what if I could trick people into doing this for me? Oh. And he's like, fuck yeah. I mean, so they just started like this giant like fuck your yeah, it's fuck like, your partner. If you guys dress up like pandas, we'll promote your fucking really shitty skin flick you made with your dad's fucking Motorola razor. With your three inch dick. Yeah, just plowing your fat hog whore wife. <laughs> just fucking the shit out of her. Oh, so here's a topic I did want to cover. Uh, I like that segue. <sighs> WWE and yeah. just professional wrestler yeah, fans yeah. are fucking. Idiots. Okay. The only reason why they like professional wrestling mm-hmm. is because they don't know how to tie their shoes, okay. read. Um, they barely know how to breathe. Um, they yeah. can barely talk. Right. They didn't finish high school. Yeah. And they're really big into imaginary friends because that's about as real as wrestling. That's fair. Uh, can I have a retort? Yeah. Yes, please. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's think, so fake, though. Oh, right. it is. It so, is. All right. So, uh, 
to be to be fair, I'm I'm kind of ripping this off of Tom Segura because he right. like he has been like the last five podcasts. Right. He pissed off the entire community. Right. And whatnot, but I mean, you and I have talked about this before, oh, like in person. Oh, absolutely. So, but I'm pretty. I heard, I heard like I heard like counter arguments, whatever, because oh. he had people on, like oh, that yeah. he was like ripping on them, but he had yeah. them on. Yeah. And they compared it to like you know people. It's like a play. So people are like, "Well, wait till he finds out that Spider Man isn't real," because, or they they equated it basically like people that like are really huge Marvel fans, like yeah. you know what I mean. I, I I don't understand because one of them is a movie. You know it's fake, and you get immersed into this universe um, right. that you can be a huge fan of. But you don't go around saying like, "No, that's fucking real, man." Like those are fucking those actors. They're fucking athletes, man. Because oh, I know really everything's are. fake. I know everything's fake. But do you see that fucking hammer that he had? That was easily four hundred pounds, oh, and oh, he threw yeah. it, and it came back. Those CGI effects—they were just—they're just they're the training props, okay? Yeah. But they're, they're real athletes, and they do their like it's real. Yeah, well, I mean that's one thing you can say about WWE. You cannot deny that these people are not athletes. <sighs> okay. It's really good. It made me laugh my fucking ass off. Yeah. Basically, it's bodybuilders who enter the bodybuilder ballerina. Or ballet. See, <laughs> That's what it is. See, but at it's the a same, bunch of failed the, bodybuilders that were like, Oh, I can't make it in a bodybuilder world. I don't know. I can kind of act. Oh, oh, yeah, if you slam. Watch, <laughs> if you watch the old shit, it is like that. Mm-hmm. But like ever since the newer stuff now, where they incorporate luchador style wrestling, have you ever watched luchador style wrestling? Is that like uh, like Rey Mysterio and stuff like that? I don't know if you ever watched. Yes, that. where they wear the fucking mask and like where they wear shots. the mask and they jump off the tight road shit. I don't. That, care. that was that was around whenever I was a kid. Yeah, but I mean, what I'm saying though is like you know, okay, it's staged. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. A lot of them still, you know, when you're jumping off of a high rafter thirty five feet up in the fucking air, you feel that. Yeah, I get, I get that. So my, so I, something I also I got to thinking about mm-hmm. is a lot of people was like, well, why, why do you like it? Well, because it was something cool. I, I grew up at, with as a kid. Yeah. And so the only thing that keeps that in, industry alive is parents that like experience it as the, as a kid are like, oh, it was so cool growing up, or whatever. Now that I know that it's not real or whatever, they're not, not role models to me anymore. They're like, I want to share that with my kid because there's the, so it's solely based off in the, the nostalgic tendencies of parents pushing it on their kids. Well, I wouldn't go that far necessarily. Um, because do you think if it, like, I, my parents were never into wrestling and I got into it. None of my family was ever into wrestling and I. No, got but into I mean, it. like the people that go there though, because I mean, the, well, like the people just that go honest, to the live shows. The, the, let's be honest, the fans that go to live shows, fucking rough, and I don't understand how they get so worked up over stuff. Yeah. Like just well, like, I mean, like the diehard it's... fans of wrestling. I like maybe it's just one of those things where it's not my cup of tea, so I don't really understand it. But right. I don't get how like you can be so immersed into that as like a grown adult. You're like out in the backyard, like oh I'm fucking Rey Mysterio, I'm gonna fucking slam him. Like a lot of them aren't like that though. I, but they're also very hardcore and they're like fucking. They're dressed up as their favorite character yeah. and shit. I, I just it's kind of like the same reason people get into rock stars and shit. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, people. But you don't. The, ever, the thing about it is, like, you know, like when John Cena. But people that like like I, ICP are probably the same ones that like I like. Oh, you know, funny you say that. Wrestlers. ICP was actually in WWE in the mid nineties. Isn't it based off of uh, well? And then ICP actually has their own wrestling um, company. <laughs> it's called Insane. It's called Juggalo Championship Wrestling. Oh my JCW. god! <laughs> Damn it. I'm fucking hit the nail on that one. I know you did. It's fucking <laughs> Dude, honestly, it's actually... And you make fun of Juggalos. I do. But, okay, <laughs> honestly, Juggalos are like a punching bag, but they're they're actually really kind of fucking cool people. Mm. Like, as much shit as they take, like, as far as I can speak... They send death threats to people. Jay and Silent Bob are cool. The two main Juggalos. The guy from ICB. Oh, okay. That's what I mean. Okay. <laughs> but the fans are fucking insane. Oh, Yeah. Like getting full like face tattoos. Oh yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> fucking nuts. Don't get me wrong, but like in the '90s when they were really, really big, mm-hmm. like they they actually got fucked over by WWE quite a bit. Who ICP? Yeah, it's it's actually kind of fucked up. I watched a video on it. Like so when they well, comp- but it's another giant corporation. 
Yeah, but it, it was shitty what they did to them because, like, you know, ICP was super big at the time, and they loved wrestling because they wrestled at ECW and mm-hmm. shit. And uh, they were like, yeah, we want to come on. We'll take a pay cut if you guys air our commercials. For, like, their band? Yeah, for yeah. their concerts and shit that are mm-hmm. coming up. And they took a pay cut for that. And it was written in contract. WWE never did it. Oh, like they never, wait. They, oh, they never ran the commercials? Never ran the commercials. Oh, it's fucked. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, shit yeah. like that. And the reason they got shit on is just because, like, they're fucking weird and all this mm-hmm. other shit. But, like, at the time, like, a lot of people were in fucking Juggalos. Like, in the 90s, like, mm-hmm. mid to late 90s. So, I went Juggalos, juggalos big deal. are still, like, old now. Yeah. Like, there's so many oh, old there's Juggalos. The, I mean, I mean there's young, but, I mean, there's, like, all, that old. There was, yeah, there was a lot more back in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Like, that was Juggalo culture. Quote unquote from Detroit because that's where they're from. I'm pretty Detroit. Sure. Yeah, because that's where Detroit? Fago's from. Isn't it Detroit? I don't know. It's not Detroit. It's yeah, Detroit. 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 It's also how people say Hyundai instead of Hyundai. It's Hyundai. I've I've heard both. It's Hyundai. I'm gonna say Hyundai because I'm no, gonna say it's it. Hyundai. I'm gonna say how. It how does it look? H Y U N D A I. You say Jalapeno. Hyundai. It sounds... That was racist. That's that. That was not racist. That's racist. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm going to say it, Hyundai. It, it is Hyundai. <laughs> yeah, I was about to... No, I used to... I think no. it was a southern dialect. I used to think... Because Ty... Ty fucking says, Hi, Hyundai. I got a little... Like he has, so Ty's great. <laughs> Ty's, this, Ty's this little... We're going to have him on the show. He's this like yeah. sawed-off bisexual southern dude. A sawed-off bisexual... What? Is, is this, are you talking about a shotgun? Like, what the no, fuck is sawed he's, off? He's, he's fucking short. He's like 5'2". Oh. Oh, okay. And he, yeah, sure. he has this little southern bell horse like this. He, t- mm. he talks exactly like that. Like, oh, he's no. like a southern tiny I'm tiny. not going to be able to focus the entire time. And he, he always goes like, because I drive around, he drives around a car, like same car as yours, except for his is white. And he says, I drive around a Hyundai. Uh, Hold on. What's going on? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. I'll just. Uh, yeah. I'm doing a podcast right now, and then um, I'll be at the house the rest of the night. So. Yep. Yeah, next. Bye. But what I meant by that is like, he, he drives. A, he drives a Hyundai. Uh, a I'm not gonna Hyundai. be able to focus for this entire. And every time podcast. he says, every time he says Hyundai, I just want to go tie. It's Hyundai. But I'm like, I, I well, think it's I a got, southern thing. Well, I got friends, though, that say Antana. Or an, Antana. Antana? An, no, Antana. 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 Instead of Antana. Yes. Alex does that. Like, well, he's, he's one of the guys I work it's with. It's like how my dad says instead goes, of milk. Yeah, milk. yeah, they're fucking Antana. And then there's another word that they say. I'm like, you know that's not how it's pronounced, right? Oh, you know, fuck it, yeah. But, it, like, he's from western Kansas, though. It's not like he's from, like, like a different part western of Western Kansas, there's nobody to fucking talk shit on him. That's why he says it that way. And there's no people. He's used to having <laughs> sex with cows. <laughs> and just dirt, and ground hole dirt, and groundhog hole dirt. Do you fucking. think you think if you put your dick in a groundhog, like, hole, or like in a In a groundhog? <laughs> you think if you just put your dick in the dirt? Like a little like little mole would come up and come tickle and it. nibble it. Yeah, come and just mm-hmm. tuck it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. maybe you think it'd bite the tip off? Try your, it? You think it'd bite the tip off your dick, or I you hope think it'd just like fucking tickle be, it? That wouldn't be cool, dude. Dude, I remember when I lived in Wichita, we had groundhogs all the way over in uh, Hutchison. Mm-hmm. There was a bunch of those little fuckers. There's not a ton of groundhogs, or maybe I don't know, or prairie dogs, maybe in Colorado. What's that fuck? Oh, groundhogs are bigger. I meant prairie dogs. I always yeah. get the two confused. I think prairie dogs are... Prairie like, dogs are the small, like, chipmunks. Yeah, but they'll the, fucking the crown run ho- Groundhogs are, like, the size of, like, a half of a badger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it's, like, comes They're, like, the ground. size of a, like, a, like, a, like, a real short beaver. Like, a lot, not as long beaver. Beaver. Yeah. yeah. I keep on thinking the Leslie Nielsen. I was like, hey, nice beaver. And she's like, thanks, you just had it stuffed. And she hands him down. <laughs> I got to. Because he's looking up, or he's like, uh, is he up her skirt, and she yeah, hits like, Nice beaver. What yeah. is this fucking naked gun? Type yeah, I'm fucking. Humor? Did you? Know, I watched a documentary about that man. I know we're jumping all over the place, but did you know he did like completely serious roles? Yes, that's naked. what I heard. Yeah, and he's got big base off of naked gun. Yeah, his later <laughs> life. Yeah, like, he's like, well, because that started out as a TV show. Naked, naked, naked gun. gun. 
Oh, actually, I think I know that. And it started out. It started only lasted for like six or seven episodes. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, fuck it, let's make a movie. Well, just like SNL, some of those skits spawned real movies. Most of them are, are like fucking well, um, ones with Will Chris Farrell. Farrell's and shit. Yeah, Chris Chris Farley and like Will Ferrell movies and Adam shit. Adam Sandler. You know what was a really uh, good? Because like Night at the Roxbury. Um, oh yeah, that was a. Um, Try to think of what other. Keep talking. I'm gonna look up what other uh, well, SNL um, skits became movies. Uh, some shit with Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers. I'm pretty sure the Blues Brothers started out as an SNL skit. SNL skits made into movies. Look at that. Okay, so yeah. you got McGruber. McGruber yes. is one of my favorite. McGruber. So, all right. I'll be honest. Up until maybe last year or two years ago, I maybe watched McGruber before. I just didn't remember it. it. Is so. And then one of my buddies kept quoting it all the time. Oh my I'm god. Like, that sounds hilarious. He's like, dude, you gotta watch it. I laughed my fucking dick off. He's like, I'll suck your dick. Yeah, I'll suck your dick. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> I'll suck your dick. <laughs> Give me some coffee yeah. toner. I'll fuck something. Yeah, and then, and then he's out there fucking his wife over the headstone. Yeah. Something else. He's like it's cuts to him fucking her, and then it cuts to like a, the caretaker. Like, just looking. Is, yeah, he's just, just like humping. Ass. Yeah, he's just humping over a headstone. My he's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna squirt. No, I'm gonna shoot. Going. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> my, my, one of my favorite ones is when he gets the whole crew together. <laughs> yes, and he blows up the car. He's like, oh no, oh, no, Scott, no, oh no, guys, I oh. fucked up. <laughs> It's so, so funny because he takes the time to go find him. And then they're like, oh, yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Give me a second. And then, like, because it, it's so abrupt. Like, the whole scene from, like, whenever he gets all of them together and then it blows up is, like, 30 seconds. And they spent five minutes before it showing him going around and getting everyone. And they're just all fucking Boom. dead. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also loved how he drove a fucking Miata with a removable radio. Like, <laughs> yeah, just for me, so that's... He can pull it yeah, out. so he can take it with him. It's the <laughs> yes. best. It's the best shit. <laughs> yeah. I've actually now that I think about it, that that's you, bro. <laughs> like recover, it's you. I mean, we got the hair. Yeah, um, that's such a good movie. Uh, let's see, uh, Wayne's World. Yeah, Night at the Roxbury. I still haven't watched it. I, Night at the I never was into that skit. I, did, I didn't really like the skit either. Yeah. yeah. Blues Brothers Two Thousand. That fucking piece of shit movie. I don't think I've ever seen that. It's so bad. I love let's John see. Goodman, but he's been a part of Three some... Amigos. All right, so let's just read. Three them Amigos off. was good. Uh, so you have McGruber, the David S. Pumpkin Halloween special. Fuck. Wayne's World 2, Night of the Roxbury, Blues Brothers 2000, a Murphy Wind, a Mighty Wind, uh, Gilda Live, Harold, Three Amigos. I like Three Amigos. Uh, M- Mr. Mike's Mondo video. What the uh, fuck? Is. It's Pat, Mr. Saturday Night, Stuart Saves His Family, Superstar. I've seen my dad, that's one of my dad's Coneheads. Coneheads yeah. was an SNL Yeah, school. yeah, dude. That's why Coneheads got big. Yeah, because thought- Dan Aykroyd would go in there and. Like, oh, there. I think I saw. I think I saw the movie before I knew that it was an SNL skit. So I thought there's an SNL skit about the movie. Right. I did not know that. I told you, Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers. Yeah. Uh, I th- I'm, oh, I don't ladies think I've seen man that. with the. I can't remember that guy. Ladies man. Oh, Hot Rod. Really? Yeah, Hot Rod. I, I did not know that. And Wayne World. That's that's that was a good fucking movie. Well, that was Wayne World's two, like the first one. You yeah. Said. So yeah, Wayne World's two and Wayne's World. You know what I almost said was an SNL movie was actually a National Lampoon movie was a uh, was a fucking. Uh, Animal, Animal House? House? No, yeah, no. Actually, I watched a, a documentary over that. That's fuck. Uh, so oh. Haley is super big into it, and I've never seen it before. Animal House? Or yes. just National Lampoon? Uh, Animal House. Well, and all the National Lampoons. Okay. Um, but she was super, her and her dad were super into that movie, and I'd never seen it before, and I watched it, and I was like, oh, that's pretty fucking good. You know what gets me every time, though, is National Lampoon's uh, Family Christmas. Like, whenever he goes shooting down the fucking hill on the fucking uh, the toboggan that he made, Dude, the whole time I was like crying, laughing every time I see it. Like, ah! <laughs> like I love, to where you can't breathe. My laughing. favorite, my favorite part of Animal House is when they make the urban assault vehicle. You know, I really never, I really, I still don't really think that's a good movie. You really don't like it. It's a cult classic that I think you have to acknowledge as a cult classic before you watch it. Like, like The Office or Office Space. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I didn't. I've never watched it, and the reason why I decided to watch it is because I'd seen so many memes about it, and then I finally heard somebody talk about it on a podcast or something like that. It is like a cult classic, whatever, and I was like, you know what? Like, I need to watch this. So I went into it knowing that a bunch of people really liked it, and it's not going to be what you expect out of a movie, per se, because it wasn't really appreciated when it came out. 
So going into office space like that, I got all the humor. Yeah. But with Animal House, I just heard like, oh yeah, we really love it. Love it. It's really funny. And then I'm watching it, expecting to be entertained, instead of, well, kind of think, searching for the content. I think I think the biggest thing about Animal House though, it's been around for so long that it gets ruined to you because everybody quotes it so often. Well, see, but that's the thing. Somebody could quote it, and I would not know. Yeah, but that's like the, the thing. Tone, like somebody tokens. quotes it. Yeah, I go, Toga! Everybody quotes that, and they're like, oh, what's that from? Oh, that's from Animal House. And then you see it, it's like, oh, that's not as funny now because I already know it. Well, you know what I mean? I don't think it's that because Toga's, I mean, frat parties have Toga parties at the time, and I think that's inspired by Animal House. Yeah. But to me, it's like, cool, people put on bed sheets. My favorite part is uh, the fucking crazy dude they get that builds them the tank in the end of the movie. And then at the end, when he drives off with some lady, he just says, whereabouts unknown. <laughs> and, and, and one of my favorite ones, he just goes, ramming speed! <laughs> <laughs> just plows through a bunch of shit. I love it. I don't know what the f- I don't remember what the fuck they call that, that fucking car, but I really liked it. Yeah. But. Well, I mean, those are, those are pretty good movies, though. I mean, half of them I've never heard of, but that's, it's interesting. Coneheads is fucking Do great. you think we'll ever have uh, a movie made about one of uh, our skits? Do you think we'll ever get big enough? That were like, you know what, fuck you, SNL. We got Redneck News Entertainment. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Super Troopers kind of went off. Have you seen the second one? Yeah. It does not have the whimsical effect. It's because it was... They're old. Not really that. I think... We all had higher expectations. Because because Super Troopers is such... It's kind of a cult classic. Like Because that group of people, they did uh, Beer Fest, um, Super Troopers... And they did a couple other movies. The other ones I haven't. I know that they made. I just haven't. Um, yeah, there's some. I haven't watched them. Yeah. But if they would have re- made Super Troopers two right after, like a couple years after the first Super Troopers, I guarantee you would have been better. Um, but waiting so long, it was all crowdfunded though. So I'm super like that tells you how much the community loves Super Troopers the first one. And then when they shot the second they one, they also did it 21 years after. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's so much time in between, and people were, like, so psyched that they were actually making it yeah. that I think they put really high expectations on it. Like, because I know I did. The first time I watched it, I'm like, that was good, but, like, I was expecting, like, a lot more. And then I rewatched it a second time. I'm like, all right, this is – they actually – they missed a little bit of the feel of their earlier movies, yeah. but it was still good. I still think – I still think one of my favorite fucking parts from that movie is when – Farb is bringing in the coffee in the first movie. I fucking, yeah. <laughs> the next person that says shenanigans is getting pissed with. Hey, Farva, what's that place you like to go to? They got all oh, the fucking goofy shit you know, on the walls. Go- oh, shenanigans? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, my favorite part is when he's bringing in the coffee. And he's like, oh, Farva, you put a bar oh, of soap, soap in it. He's just like, oh, my God, you good, you fucker. Chicken fucker. <laughs> no. Fucking rookie. Yeah, I just, I love that movie so Oh, much. my favorite is like, no spit, all right? Uh, don't put any spit in that cop's burger. Yeah, and let me get a, uh, what do you say, a large cola? Yeah, a liter of cola. Uh, a liter, let me get a liter of cola. A uh, sir, the largest we have is a large. I said I want a fucking liter of cola. Large, calm down. <laughs> All right, fine, let's take a fucking large. Takes off the stick or whatever. <laughs> and then he goes diving over the counter. God damn Beat the shit out of the guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I really like the, um, when we were talking earlier about SNL movies, I think a person that's really, like, underappreciated as, like, a great actor and mm-hmm. comedic writer is fucking Dan Aykroyd. I know who you're He's talking right about. He's right there. Literally in the middle of Coneheads. In the middle. I don't like him. You don't like him? Mm-hmm. Why is that? Wait, hold on. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't he? Isn't Ghostbusters. He Ghostbusters. Yes. Yes, I haven't seen him as stand-up, but I guess he was a big stand-up guy. He was a big, well, he's a big, he was, I mean, he was on SNL for a very mm-hmm. long time. Well, I mean, he wrote, actually, he, yeah, actually, he wrote Ghostbusters. He was Ghost, a big writer. He wrote Ghostbusters. And do you know yeah. that the, the black dude that was on there was supposed, actually supposed to be Eddie Murphy? I did not know that. And then they I got, think and, was, uh, fuck, what's that one guy's name? Uh, this is going to be bad, but don't read this out loud. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um... Winston, Winston Zettermore. Oh, yeah, that's his name. Did he appear in anything else? I don't know. Fucking click it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Ghostbusters uh, go, 3. Go down. All three of them. Film. Oh, yeah, he's in all kinds of shit. He's in the real Ghostbusters. Uh, so, everything to do with... Ghostbusters. Yeah. I think that's just made a career. Well, I, I, I think I watched a documentary over it, and he was super butthurt because the first, um, first run-through of the script 
um, he actually played a major part. And then they just kept rewriting it and rewriting it and rewriting it. And Dan Aykroyd was talking to him about it. And he wanted to have a super minor part. And he was yeah. hoping that that would spring on his career. And so he thought there's kind of some like racial stuff going on because he was new, yeah. new to Hollywood. And then he finally got pulled aside by uh, Eddie Murphy, I think. Or not Eddie Murphy. Um, fucking. Um, Richard Pryor? No. I'm trying to. The fucking. He's in the movie. Um, the legend. Uh uh, Bill Murray. Bill Murray, yeah. Um, he got pulled aside by Bill Murray. He's like, "Hey, man, like this is just this is just Hollywood. It's not anything personal. It's just trying to make the script work or whatever." Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, if you if you like Ghostbusters, you should watch their documentary. Was in Lego Dinosaurs. What the fuck, Lego Dinosaurs? Yeah, no, no, Lego, Lego Dimensions. Lego Dimensions. <laughs> no, Lego. Hey, I'm doing my best reading twelve point font from like six feet of fucking way. I'm surprised you can read it. Here, I'll, I'll zoom in for you. I can't, I don't, you know, no, Lego guys? Dimensions. Zedmore appears in Lego Dimensions. With archival audio of Emmy Ernie Hudson being used to re- represent his character. Oh, uh, okay. So he That's, really wasn't in it. Yeah, he like, really wasn't in it. That's weird. Poor fucking Did guy. Did he die? Is he dead? I don't he's know. Alive. Uh, Ernie Hudson. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's Ernie Hudson. Jesus. Oh, Ernie Hudson. Oh, that was his character's uh, name. Yeah. Oh god. oh god damn it fucking idiot. Ernie Hudson Let's yes see. he did more shit yeah see Holy there you go fucking shit he did yeah. a lot of shit so when did he do Ghostbusters in the eight, mid early 80s he did in 84 Let's... or 3 no oh yeah yeah 84 yeah okay National... yes he has been in so much stuff oh yeah he's been a lot of shit uh Shark Attack see if he's been in anything really new recently uh whoa whoa 2021 Dude, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters Afterlife? Afterlife what the fuck it's in post production right now I did not know that. It's a comedy film. Is it gonna be better? Uh, is it gonna be better but than then, the last one? Oh my god! What was that called? Is the what was the old female Ghostbusters called? Ghostbusters the shit tank. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't that great. I like so I like the women that were in it. No, so I tried. So I heard that like before it even came out, and right after it came out, everyone was like, it fucking bombed at the box office, um, and it was super shit. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna listen to that. I want to like watch it for myself, make my own opinion. So I watched it with an open mind, and I laughed at a couple of them, but yeah, it was not good. No. They tried. It, they tried too hard, and it, it just. I get really bothered when politics makes their way into movies. Oh, partly. absolutely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Undertones, I get because I mean every 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 movie has to tell a story, so there's gonna be undertones of a political premise right. based on the writer. But whenever it's overtly inserted and kind of thrown into your face, you should like, like this bro. because they're women. Yeah, it's like, dude, I can appreciate your cause or what you stand for, but I don't want to like I want I'm there to be entertained. I don't want to have to think about politics because it's part of my everyday life. Dude, anyway. he was in a really critically acclaimed movie, Beverly Hills Chihuahua Two. <laughs> oh my! Won six Oscars. He's Pedro. He's not even Mexican. Were you saying black people can't be Mexican? We just talked about this earlier. He doesn't have to be. He doesn't have to be Mexican. He's, a, he's, he's an actor. Spanish. He's an actor, so he can be whatever yeah, he, he wants. He can be whatever he wants. Unless I can, I can play Martin Luther King. He said it. I, I. That Cody did not say that. That was quick. It was. <laughs> no, there is the reason. Okay, hang on. Before, before I say that, there is this joke. Before you watch on our studios. Yeah, before you try to cancel me, that's based off of this joke. Um, you know, it's not really. That's gonna be. That's gonna be clipped though. It, that's, gonna be clip. that's gonna be your intro. It's like I can play Martin Luther King. That's what's gonna be. But, uh, and then just silence. Yeah. <laughs> Three minutes of silence. Yeah, and so, um, you know, there's a, there is a thing where it's like whitewashing of Hollywood, mm-hmm. where they make white actors like play predominantly black people and stuff. Yeah. And th- that started out as a joke. It's like Ryan Gosling as Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think he could capture the essence, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah. Like they just like I'm just like imagining just like a really just horrible rendition of like telling his this this story. That has a dream speech. Of yeah, just of a great great human being, but they just put Ryan Gosling in blackface and they just oh. make him just do the I have a dream speech. And, oh, oh my, my god. god, could you? Like, do you know how bad that fucking? Be? You know what? That, they could probably get away with that. In an, no, an, they an, could. No, in an animated show. Because I've no heard, way they could have no. I've black I've, face. I've had I've heard a lot of people talk like if you have edgy ideas or stuff that like kind of goes against like political correctness. Yeah. If you try and act it out, 
bombs. But if you put it in a animation in an animated like show, like yeah. Family Guy yeah. or like Big Mouth, stuff like, like that, yeah, hey, they, they, they can say whatever the fuck they want because because for whatever reason, if if an actor says it, they're like that's fucking real. But if they see it in an animated thing, stupid. then they consider it as they're dumb. They consider it as well. That's just dude's like joke. whoa, yeah. Ryan Gosling didn't say that. Peter Griffin did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, come on. <laughs> He's like, holy freaking crap, well, let's check out this drawing of Muhammad, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, because, yeah. I mean, think about how much shit Family Guy, Simpson, everything has gotten away with over the years, especially in a, a heavily... Simpson, dude... Especially, like, Simpsons I've never watched it. fucking sucks. I, I've, I like, the early, the early seasons were really fucking good. Mm-hmm. I never was a big fan of Family Guy. I liked yeah, I American like, Dad a little bit. I, I See, I'm really big on Family Guy, but I never got into American Dad really? or any of those other ones. Or, or Simpsons, nothing. But they got away with so much shit in the heavily PC culture because they're animated. And they have some... Well, I think it's also because, Montemi like, the, the, the creator of The Simpsons is Jewish. Who? Seth MacFarlane. I'm pretty sure. No, not the Simpsons. Uh, uh, Family Guy is. That's that's what I'm saying though. I'm yeah. pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that has a play to do with it. No, I mean actually I can't believe that. I forgot that Family Guy actually got canceled. They were off air for like two seasons. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, they uh, they, they lost do. their contract with Adult Swim, and then they brought him Wasn't back like after two or three years. Oh, Fox dropped him, and then Adult Swim. Then TBS and, and the, yes, yeah. yeah, but I mean that's. Crazy to think that it's such a big. Yeah, but staple. I've never heard. I've never heard fucking Adult Swim airing new episodes of Family Guy though. It's always been reruns from like the first three seasons. Well, I mean they keep adding them to Netflix, so they're coming out. Okay. Yeah. I don't know them. I mean they do. I thought they I got. I think they do uh, it in the fall. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't watched Family Guy since I was like twelve. So. I mean, you should watch it on Netflix though. The All only right. thing is, they don't have the entire season. They like, or the entire series. They have like a few seasons and stuff. Yeah, they're like holy freaking crap, Lois! I'm. I'm gonna become a gamer. I'm, gonna become a gamer. <laughs> I'm a Twitch streamer now. I'm a Twitch, I'm a Twitch streamer. I'm a totally freaking crap, Lois. I'm a Twitch streamer. Peter, don't say the N word. <laughs> uh, dude, what if you turned a Twitch stream into an OnlyFans? You can uh, make it a subscription mean? only. Oh, and just like watch me play video games naked. Yeah. Or just showed your butt. <laughs> so, what if you played? So, for those of you watching, or for those of you only listening, you're gonna have to watch our YouTube uh, channel for this. But, what if your stream was like this? You're just sitting here playing X. Oh, and there's like Xbox, a camera in front, and then there's the camera a, ca- a camera back. back, and then it's just like picture in picture, and then just the back shot is to picture your asshole while you're playing. That would be the most uncomfortable. <laughs> so, thing so you're sitting here playing, and they're just watching you, and then like. Down in the very corner. You like sway you just, back and forth. You can just see. Just like when somebody donates, you make it wink at <laughs> But they're just like, oh, it's oh so... what's this dude playing? At what game is he? He's playing, playing XCOM with his asshole He's out. He's playing Xbox. Whoa! Is that that dude's butthole? Oh, hey, thanks for the fucking follow, Brick. Thanks Brad. for the sub, and then he takes a shit. Oh. <laughs> what? What fucking? What fucking shithole did we just fucking? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, holy freaking Something crap, like, Lois! I got my dumper out. I mean, you would. <laughs> I mean, you would make quite a bit of money. I feel like. As I don't want to do that. What? Show your butthole on camera nah. for, for money? Nah. I don't have. Would any... you show your feet on camera? For oh, feet? I'd do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show my fucking little hobbit feet. Would you? What if you put like? A, would you put a toe in some girl's clam? Oh, dude. Like, like, like if foot. she asked. Yeah, or just like unprompted, just put a toe in the plane. Unprompted? No, nah, dude, I don't. Would you let it soak? No, T- Cody. What? What? what would you, this? I mean, Cody. What, I don't would you? Wanna, would nah. you let it soak so you could like like cut your toenails and get like a pedicure? Just, My just girlfriend keeps soft. on wanting me to get him. I get a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, what are we about to talk about? She <laughs> wanted me to get a pedicure because yeah. she's like, I think it'd be really nice for you. I think that's her way of suggesting that you have nasty feet. I do, dude. I've told her that straight up. I said, I'm really glad you do not have a foot fetish. Well, then, uh, well, she has got another fetish that apparently you're not into. I don't want her to eat my ass. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I think it's she a joke. She announced it, she announced it on I, Facebook, and it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, my whole family. Can I, see I, it. I know. It's Okay, you can't be like... Who you are as a person on Facebook? No, and then get like shy about it. No, I'm say, not. Oh, uh, okay, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want her to eat my ass. I just don't want her. Why? To, I don't want her to. Why? Is, do you I have, don't want her. Fucking are you homophobic? What? Yeah. What if do you, you mean? If you don't. Want I don't to, care if other people do. I just don't want it to happen to me. Why? 
Because I just don't want you think to. It's gay? No. Are you homophobic? I don't want to have anyone's face in my ass. What if it's just a tongue? Though? I don't want someone's tongue in my ass. What if she just rubs it? I don't want. Well, because your G in spots ass. in your ass. Though. I don't care. I don't want. What if you shaved and like cleaned your ass? I don't want anything in my ass. I what think she Roach is it? telling us to fuck off. What is she, what is she spitting? I'm not, dude. <laughs> Why are you getting okay. like this? Why I don't, I don't know. All right, all right, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for uh, this week's episode of the Red Deck Review. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you haven't already, please go check out our Facebook page at Red Deck News Entertainment. Uh, we have an Instagram; it's the same. Uh, and our website is www.rednecknewsentertainment.com. Please go on there, check out our merchandise, uh, help support us um, so that Quinn doesn't have to get a premium Snapchat where his girlfriend eats his ass uh, for money. So, <laughs> for that, uh, with that, Quinn, do you have anything you want to say to the. No. no? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>